Welcome to another edition of Vacation Authority. Today, we are reviewing the Royal Hawaiian Luxury Collection. This is now a Marriott property, and we are in the Aloha Oe Suite, room 263 and 264. These doors are really beautiful. Yeah, really cool. And the entire hotel is a pink building. That's cool. The carvings on this door is just yeah, incredible, you know? right? So I love the feel of this room when you walk in. It's very warm and welcoming. It almost feels like home. And it's very old world, very different than the hotel in Maui that we stay at. Uh, there's a door right here that connects to another bedroom. So if you wanted to get this as a two bedroom suite, that is an option. Um, we obviously just have the one bedroom, it's just the two of us. And then right here, there is um, a guest bathroom or a second bathroom, it's not a full bath. And I love having that, um, especially at events like this where it's very possible people might come back to the room um, because this is pleasure and business. Yeah, it's nice to have that. And then this is what, the living room here? This is the living room, which is so colorful and really indicative of the colors of Hawaii. Very spacious. Um, the hot ceilings are very high, too. I do like that. Beautiful garden views. In fact, you can see outside where we will be having a um, dinner, uh, a catered dinner right there. So that's pretty fun. That is cool. And there's a nice bar set up here with a little mini fridge. I always like that. Bring my stuff to. Um, as you can see, this room is spotless. From the second you walk in the door, um, it is absolutely one of the most immaculate hotel rooms I've ever been in. And I've been in a lot. So That's <laughs> I nice. Think, I think we're at about 200 for this year. So um, uh, maybe not quite that much. Whatever. And not this year, because this year just started. Oh, you sorry. mean last year? Last year. <laughs> Actually, and I apologize. Last year, what did we hit? About 100? 180, I think, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we've been in a lot of hotel rooms. This one's immaculate. I mean, we walked in, and I'm pretty critical, especially an older building like oh, this. Oh, yeah, she is, trust me. I will even check the baseboards just to see, you know, the level of cleanliness. The baseboards are immaculate. Every corner is immaculate. And then come on into the bedroom, because it's so pretty. There's a beautiful desk over here. It, it has a gorgeous orchid, and I thought that was a really nice touch. You can see there's a another um, door that we can um, exit. exit and entrance from the bedroom if we desire. We've actually locked it. Um, and then the bed is beautiful. They have, again, this is known as the Pink Hotel. They have these pink pinstripe robes that are just so soft and Cuddly when you put them on, I love them. They're super fresh with the um, with the the fret slippers. The linens here are superior on a scale of one to ten. The linens are a ten plus. Um, the cleanliness is a ten plus. You have to see this uh, bathroom. And I know again in Maui uh, we talked about that bathroom and how it was long and narrow. Um, this one, although is smaller, feels bigger and it just has a really nice feel to me. I, I really love this bathroom. So you can see it's pretty small. Yeah. Single sink, not my favorite. Kind of old school. But so beautifully done and immaculate. I mean, every crevice and corner of this bathroom has been scrubbed and cleaned. And um, the comfort of this bed, 10 plus. Yeah, we had a good night's sleep. So let's go through your list. So uh, the first thing, rating for location. So on the location, if you're coming to Waikiki, I give this location a 10. Right. Waikiki would not be my first choice of locations to come to. I did prefer um, Maui was a little bit um, more of a laid back vibe. 
uh, this island is much more of a of a metropolitan well, this city. This is business. It's a big city. Business so city. And just outside here, there's a beautiful mall. We had a, a Apple problem, so we were able to get a brand new Apple laptop. There's a big Apple store. So exactly. you, this is this is a big city. Right. You are in the United States, and you definitely feel that you're part of the United States when you're here. Um, whereas some of the other Hawaiian islands. You almost feel like you're um, in another country somewhat. Okay, so, so location, you're giving it? So I'm gonna give it a 10 for um, being on this island. There really is no hotel or resort in a better location if you're coming to Waikiki. You've got the, the beach right out front, absolutely gorgeous, and then you've got beautiful shopping, if that's your thing, um, right outside the other door. Yeah, so. then cleanliness. Cleanliness, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb. I don't think I've ever done this before. I'm giving it an 11. Wow. That's how so. clean this room is. Uh, that's a big deal. Is and was when we entered it. Okay, so room layout. The room layout. I love the feel of this room. As I said, when I first walked in um, to this area here, I really felt like I was home. You know, it's, it's so welcoming and warming and it's lovely the bedrooms off to here there's a sitting room over here and again a restroom over here and if you wanted the two bedroom another door over there but it's just very warm and welcoming so I love the layout the room is really a nice size there's a great desk over here which we have been able to utilize and then behind this door over here again I won't open it because it's not the prettiest part of the room since we well, it's just, it's just a closet. But it's a closet, okay. and it's a fairly nice size walk-in closet, right. and there is a safe in there as well. Okay, so really sleep like. and quiet with the bed. So the sleep, a 10. Now, I will have to give it some dings on um, quiet. I can hear the people in the room next to me. I can also hear the people out in the hallway, and I can actually hear the people in the room next to me very clearly, um, you know, we're pretty zen, so I'm not disturbed, but I think some people may have been disturbed by um, children playing at six yeah. this morning. So I have to give the sound factor a six max. Okay, and then the last is the cost slash value. So cost slash value, um, I think we paid for the suite somewhere around $650 a night. And I have to compare that to the room that we paid for in Maui. Although we use points, that room in Maui was about $775. And we were looking at 350 square feet versus around 1,000 square feet. Um, but in addition to that, the appointments and the touches in this room are just beyond you know, beautiful. It's very old world, old school. This hotel used to be a famous mansion, and it's really, really luxurious feeling. Okay, so all in all, what are you gonna give it for rating? All in all, I'm gonna give the entire experience a nine. Um, I, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I would tell people to, if you're coming to Waikiki, stay here and be sure to stay in the old historic park. We were a little nervous because they do have a new building which is supposedly very modern. Um, we were nervous that this might feel old and, and outdated, but it's not. It's been updated, it's beautiful. So I would highly recommend um, the Royal Hawaiian. Excellent. Yeah, wishing you great health, abundant happiness, and outrageous love. And if you like what you're hearing, Subscribe. If you want to hear about another property, please let us know. If we've already been there, we'll do a review right away. If not, we will put it on our list and look forward to that. Thanks, guys.